You know, uh, this morning we heard top officials before the open, the ECB and the BOE, uh, Bank of England, and they suggested, okay, we're ready to take some kind of action here. And it's interesting to me because all the indices were down and they opened higher on those little bitty comments. So, you know, I think we need to see the same from a high-ranking member of the Federal Reserve. They don't have to take action, but they've got to suggest, hey, we're going to do make some adjustments to our game plan. Your thoughts on that and what you're doing right now? Well, first off, I mean, they have to signal anything. And at this point, we know rates are going to stay low, Charles, at this point. We know that basically until right, employment... Right, no, I know that. Ryan, Ryan, down. let me jump in. Let me jump in. Let me jump in. Let me jump in. I know they're going to stay low, <laughs> but I'm talking about yield caps. I'm talking about negative rates. I'm talking about buying more treasuries. Do they have to say anything? Because I don't think until our Fed says something that this pressure is going to ease up. Yeah. I don't think they say a word, Charles. There's 1.9 trillion more dollars coming into the economy. Consumers aren't sitting on way too much money right now. Economy's going to run hot at the end of the year. And that's why you're starting to see cyclicals move. Let's face it, since I was on your show in the fall, I've been painfully right, no pun intended, P-A-Y-N-E, uh, you know, with, the, with that rotation. We've seen it, man. We've seen money move out of tech, move into cyclicals, move to energy, financials. And I think that's the biggest mistake investors are making right now. Tech's the old trade. Tech's over. It's overvalued here. Money's moving into energy. It's moving into financials. It's moving into consumer discretionary. That's the trade of the future. And you got to be ready for inflation right. here. That's the play, 100%. I got a very concerning letter this morning, and I want to share part of it because I think it represents what a lot of investors feel. It says, Dear Charles, I'm emailing because I'm very fearful at the moment of the quick financial fall in the stock market is going on, going through. I was doing what I thought was very well in the financial realm as far as seeing my investments grow. Again, sorry for the rant, but this morning continues going to continue. Uh, do I stay in the stock market? Can I write this out? and come out at the very least okay. Thank you for reading, listening. Uh, have a great day. You know, when I get these kind of uh, letters, it really breaks my heart for a number of reasons now. I, I took out some components of this letter because it was opinions on, on governments and, and other personal issues, but that also plays a real role in the psyche, your overall feeling. Uh, you know, when you feel bad about anything uh, outside the stock market and then you add in these choppy pullbacks, it gets even more painful. I looked at her portfolio. I saw a lot of stocks that were up gigantic. She had big gains, and, and they given them up. She, they're down. They pulled back. So, you know, she decided not to take profits when she had a chance. I'm sure she regrets it. And I guarantee you, a lot of people watching right now in the same boat. Uh, it's the biggest mistake people are making, right? Uh, they don't take profits when these stocks are soaring, but they are willing to take losses on pullbacks. Obviously, this formula means that you will never succeed in the stock market. Now, the best way to mitigate this emotional roller coaster is to have a plan and to stick with it. If you're a trader, then trade. That includes taking losses. If you want to be an investor, learn more about the companies that you own and forget the day-to-day -day moves in the stocks. Focus on the movement and the underlying fundamentals. And whatever you do, please do not allow your feelings or other challenges in life to affect your investing decisions. You're going to take occasional losses, but that's not the hardest part of investing. The hardest part is when you succumb to your emotions. So now, Ryan, what do you tell people in this situation? Well, first, I wish that this writer had a pain capital management account, just saying. But I think this speaks to <laughs> no promotion here, Charles. But this speaks what, to what more promotion and you got to pay us for a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I need to write a book. Uh, but no, point is, look, I think the important thing here is I see this one with, uh, with portfolios all the time is you can't just have a tech portfolio and a portfolio of bond funds. That trade is over right now. People have to be proactive with their strategy. They have to start thinking about inflation. They have to start thinking about the future. And the bottom line is an inflationary right. environment is not great for tech. So you've got to make that adjustment in your portfolio. Uh